Hello and welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. I almost said 10. This month is flying by. It always does, but wow. Anyways, um, it is Monday. I'm working from home. I'm going the super casual route and wearing my like one piece romper situation, which is very comfortable and perfect for a really rainy Monday morning. It has been so warm here. I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, but it was like 63 degrees here in the Boston area yesterday, which is kind of ridiculous for December. It was 24 a couple mornings ago, which is a little bit more normal. So Anyways, the temperature is wild. We got some crazy rain and wind last night. I think I slept through most of it. I got to the gym this morning and there was nobody there except for the trainers. And come to find out they had lost power and it, they had to cancel their 5 and 6 a.m. classes. So I had debated taking the 6 o'clock this morning and I guess I'm glad I didn't because that wouldn't have worked out so well. Uh, so I got in my workout. I felt like I was like really on the struggle bus this morning, which is, I guess, I don't know. It's been a very busy month. I'm just going to be kind to myself and just say it is what it is. Um, but I've, I've been finding that my arms have been very, very sore lately. When I got my massage last week, there was a spot right here that sent me through the roof. My massage therapist was like, I thought you were crawling off the table. Like at one point I had slid so far up that like my head was hanging over and I had to scoop myself back down. I kept trying to get away from him. So anyways, I have been having a lot of pain lately and um, it's not something that I talk about a lot on the channel or even on the podcast, but I do have fibromyalgia and I walk like a tightrope of trying to exercise and move and work out enough to keep the fibro pain at bay. But then if I work out too hard and I get too much pain from working out, then that can send me into a pain spiral. So like I'm always kind of riding this line. So anyways, I have been doing stretching and using my Theragun on a more regular basis. Recently, my friend Liz and I were texting each other every day as like accountability buddies. And we've both kind of fallen off of it lately just because life has been very busy, but I need to get back into it. So Liz, if you're watching, let's just get back on track because I need it. So I need to do my arms and I need to do, my legs have actually been really sore too. Um, I do feel like I'm building quite a lot of muscle, which feels great. So anyways, that's the state of the state around here this morning. I am getting some work done, drinking some delicious coconut coffee in my cute little Mary mug. Uh, I need to eat some breakfast, I'm starving. Um, I think that's all that I was going to tell you. Oh, let me go grab. I did do a bit of plying last night. I will put in the video here so that you can see, and then I will show you what that looks like so far. Okay, this is the two ply that I was working on. I need to put this into a skein and then wash it up today. I think it came out really beautiful. I often do a three ply, not a two ply, but I wanted this yarn to be a bit thinner. So I think it was a worthy experiment. We will see. It's always fun to see how hand spun yarn knits up because it will always look different than it looks in the singles or when it's plied. So yeah, that will be ideally on my list of things to get done today. But for now, back to work. One of the things that I tend to do during my work day is to jot down personal items that I would like to get done either today or on another day that I don't want to forget. Um, that it would be tempting to do because I'm working from home and I could do some of these things during the work day, but normally I just kind of keep a list and then I can get back to them whenever I have time.
Hey friends, I don't know where this day has gone. Um, it's been kind of a crazy uh, work day. So anyways, in good news, Dan picked up the postage stamps that we needed for the Christmas cards when he was out today. So I got a bunch of those completely done. I thought I had return address labels here on the house somewhere, uh, but I can't find them if I do. So I'm gonna need to print some more of those out this week and then I can get the rest of those out. But at least I got part of that off my seemingly forever long to-do list, so that felt good. Um, and I did get caught up, at least I think I'm caught up. I hit maybe have one more round to do on my Woolens and Nosh Advent socks. Let me just count this real quick. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Yes, I'm up to day 11. This most recent stripe is that like really rich navy kind of color. These are really, really beautiful. I'm loving it so much. Um, like I said, I am not keeping up on the other one. Maybe at some point I will uh, catch up, but that's where we are on this one and that is totally fine. So that was good. Um, all right, let's open some Advents, will we? Let's do the one from my friend Lauren first, day 11. Yee, another pretty pink. That's my favorite, like a blush pink is like perfect. Love that. And then let's look, day 11. Let's find it on the map from our Legacy Fiber Arts calendar. Ooh, it's Polar Bear Plunge is the one for today. This is the beautiful map. I had grand plans of like coloring these in every day with my colored pencils as I did it. That's not happened yet. Although maybe this weekend. I'll do a little bit of coloring. That would be delightful. All right, polar bear plunge. I'm thinking creams and blues. Maybe a little bit of black. Let's see if I'm right. Mm. I mean, I'm not wrong. I guess there's not really black. Oh, it's so good. Do you see those little bits of like turquoise in there? I love it. Sue, you are the best. You're so talented. Can't get enough. Um, okay, and then we have our Goosey Fibers for today. This is our Wizard of Oz set. Let's see, we don't have, we did the Lion, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man. Ooh, we haven't done Dorothy yet. Maybe we're gonna get Dorothy today. What do we think? I think we've got some Ruby Slippers. Oh, I'm wrong. Do you want to guess while I'm pulling it out? You saw that it's red. It's not a person. It's a thing. Are you playing along in the home game? That's the color. And the colorway is Deadly Poppy Field. It's perfect. It's definitely poppy red. Love that. Awesome. Add it to the sleigh. I still need to take all these other ones out of the boxes. I don't know. I don't care if they're in order. Like that doesn't matter to me in any way. So I just need to take them out. 
you know, in my free time. <laughs> so for the rest of the evening, I need to make something for dinner and do a little bit. I have done a little bit of other knitting, but it's gift knitting, so you're not going to get to see that. Um, I might ply up that other skin of yarn tonight, but if the night gets away from me, then that needs to be something that doesn't happen tonight, and that is fine too. The other skein is drying, so I'll show that to you more show that skein to you tomorrow once it's dry. Um, yeah, otherwise, hopefully just a relaxing evening at home. I just need some chill time watching some TV. We need to pick a new show. We finished that first season of Silo, and I'm almost done with the first book. It's a book series. The first one, have I told you guys this? The first one is called Wool, which is like crazy, and it, it doesn't necessarily mean like, you know, knitting or spinning wool, but it, it has a reference to this cleaning process in this silo situation. But then each part of the first book is like casting on or getting gauge. And what's another one? Another one that was like a clever turn of phrase because none of it's really about knitting, but it is kind of like making fabric from wool which is just like a nice, delightful little thing. When I, my nephew Ocean got in the car with me yesterday and he's like, of course you're listening to wool. And I was like, no, it's actually this like crazy dystopian thing that's not really about wool at all. And he was like, oh, tell me more. But he assumed it was like a knitting podcast or something, I think. Um, oh, it's gonna bug me what that other like section is called. Anyways, if I get it, I'll put it down below. Um, but I have like an hour left of, left of that. So I will probably listen to that while I make dinner. I think Dan's probably catching up on some football games from yesterday. So he can do that. I can do my thing. Maybe finish my book and have a low key rest of the night. So let's see how it goes. While Dan is watching Monday Night Football, I am working on this cute little toy, relaxing, kind of cozied up in bed, and enjoying my little Christmas tree. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night.